everyone and welcome to the place where we have fun as we learn. It's the No Zone. Yes, we are so glad that you could join us, our Mwanja. I'm Charlie. Where is Marara? Marara? Oh, uh, 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 Marara. Oh. Marara, what's wrong? You look really tired. Oh, sorry Charlie. The party was great, but I stayed up too late. Oh, it sounds fun. Oh, well, as fun as it may have been, we need you to pay attention because we have a lot of... We have a lot of... Oh, just give me... Oh, no, no, no. Are you okay? Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right. The cameraman seems tired as well. Oh, yeah, he was at the party and we did a lot of dancing. Ah, well, uh, it seems we have a couple of dancing kings and queens here. So, why don't we just get on with the show? Yes, first of all, why don't we go say hi to our studio guests at the Chill Out Zone. Hi, everyone. Hi. Why don't we start today's show by saying a big hello to everyone who's watching us at home. Hi. Hello. We are really glad that you are here helping us with today's show. Yes, we are. And why don't we start by telling everyone watching us at home what today's topic is about. Well, it's all about celebration. Quite right. Now, what are the buzzwords? Reception. Balloons. Decorate. Fist. Excellent. Now, Try and look out for these words in the next program and throughout today's episode. That's right. And now, why don't we go join our friends in Makutano and see what they're up to in Junction Teens. The wedding reception is so beautiful. And I've never seen a feast like that. My stomach went on a strike after my second serving. It was your fourth serving. No, it was my second. No, it was your fourth. So let's make it easy. If you multiply the number of times you went to the buffet table, which is two, and the number of plates that you took, which is two, two times two gives you four. Wow, 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 wow. So I had four, four plates of food. food and five small potatoes in each plate. That is five times four, which is 20 small potatoes. <laughs> you know what would have been nicer? If you had the fabulous decorations to decorate the hideout. We can go and ask one of the ashes to give us some. But what about the cake? We were just about to start eating it. Let's just go before the balloons are removed and you are left out. You know, the couple that got married yesterday say that they knew each other when they were our age. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Sweet and romantic. I wonder if that's going to happen to some of us. <laughs> Maybe one of us will get married to the other. What? what? You're out of your mind. Don't start thinking like that. Why not? It might happen. But who's better to marry if not a friend? This conversation of girls is so over. Brian, grow up. What's the big deal? And who do you think you'll end up with who? <laughs> <laughs> Never we to have such thoughts again. Ren and Nita sitting on a tree. Uh, why don't we divide ourselves into groups? Okay. The boys will go that way. Why does it have to be based on gender? 
Okay, I have an idea. We can do a math problem and then whoever solves it first chooses two people to go with. I hope it's not a boring one. Can't it be something cooler? Yeah, today in class we learned about the LCM, least common multiple. Ah, I remember. It's the smallest multiple that divides two numbers or more. Ah, easy. Bring it on. I'll get it first. Okay, so what's the LCM of 4 and 5? I've got it. The answer is 20. Correct. How did you do that? Easy. You first take the multiples of 4. That is 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Then the multiples of 5. That is 5, 10, 15, and 20. 20. Great. Since Bakari won, he gets to choose who we'll go with. One group will get the bouquet of flowers, and the other one will get the balloons. Wait. Will the ushers remember us? They might not allow us to take anything. We didn't get any invitation cards. And name tags. The bride had invited us verbally. Don't worry about that. I was in the procession. I was the flower girl, remember? Uh -huh. Okay, Bakari, choose quickly. I really want to get back and take my cake. <laughs> okay. I choose... James. And... Uh... <laughs> huh? Okay, the other group will be me, Amishi, Babu and Brian. So let's go meet in the hideout when we've all taken our decorations. Okay. I'll go ask that man for some of the decorations. I'm glad we came back at this time because he would have cleaned them up and wouldn't have any of these. Wow, nice balloons you have there. Whose birthday is it? Nobody's. We're going to decorate the hideout. <laughs> mm. Bye, my speedy. Bye. Hello, good people. Hello. James is acting weird lately. I don't think he is. I have a theory. What? I'm saying, and I'm just saying, I think James likes a girl. James, in love. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Keep watching him. James. Yes, James. I don't understand why we, and when I say we, I mean the boys have to carry everything. Oh no! What's the problem? Someone ate our cake. Is this all you left for us? You guys are selfish. Who would do such a thing? That's just not right. I think I may know who did it. Who? who? He did it. Me? I didn't do it. I was with you and Amishi the whole time. How could you think like that? He did it. Me? Why would I do it? It's you like sitting, eating, eating. It's you. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop fighting. We have to know who ate our cake. Hold on. I think I saw my speedy eating our cake. Or maybe it's the usual suspect. of something without even any proof. I don't think it's him. But that's Amos. He's always guilty. Come on, let's get him. What do you want? We know you took our cake. What cake? 
Come on, look at your belly. Guys, let's behave like grown-ups. Amos, do you happen to know anything about our cake? Somebody ate it. So you're accusing me without any proof? I know nothing about your cake. If you don't tell us anything... You will do what? If you must know, I'm just from my auntie's place. And man, can she cook a feast? So, no. I know nothing about your cake. And I don't appreciate being accused. Now, if you'll excuse me... I need to take a nap. My auntie's roast meat is making me sleep. So, it's true. What? You're in love with Amishi? No, no, no. Stop talking about it. No. You're in love with Amishi? Hi, my speedy. How are you today? Actually, today is a very good day. <laughs> that looks like a very nice cake. And you're wondering where you got it from. Why? Want to buy ourselves a cake and yours looks rather yummy. I got it from the supermarket and... Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Can have some. Have some. Oh. So. <laughs> oh. Um, that is all I had. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't really nice. Maspi didn't steal our cake and he even gave us the little that he had. Then who would have taken our cake? I think it was Amos. I don't know. Let's just go to the hideout. Someone must have eaten the cake. No, we were all running in an errand together. None of us left each other behind. Think of it. Did the last person close the door? Ugh. You guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I was the last one out and I forgot to close the door. It's your fault. It's your fault. Wait, wait. Listen, listen. Does that prove who took the cake? Yeah. 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 I wonder how we did our kick. I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, you should know that next time you should not leave this door open. James, stop it. Amisha already feels bad as it is. She didn't do it on purpose. Now look what you've done. You've hurt her feelings. It was only a cake. What matters more to you, a cake or a friend? Yeah, we shouldn't have accused Maspidi and Amos without any proof. Yeah, and celebrations are not just about a big feast or decoration, cards or flowers. They're about the people you care about coming back together. Yes, so let's decorate the hideout and dance like we did yesterday in the reception. Also, we shouldn't have treated Amishi like that. Just because she did something wrong doesn't mean we have to be mean to her. We should have just forgiven her. Yeah, I've made many mistakes. And I know that you do unto others what you want them to do unto you. What? What are these for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. 
I'm sorry about the cake too. It's just a cake. We can always get another cake next time. But there's something I've really, really wanted to tell you. I, I really... Is everything okay, James? Never mind. Let's return to the hideout. Okay. Okay, let's have a junction team celebration. Buzzwords did you hear? Reception. Decorate. Balloons. Feast. Well done for getting all those buzzwords correctly. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Marara? Well, Charlie, uh -huh. in the junction team, uh -huh. the goat ate the cake. <laughs> <laughs> and? <laughs> well, at the party, we ate the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 I know what that means. It's time for us to join Teacher Pando on the Learning Zone for Cool Words. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello, Welcome to another exciting episode of Cool Words. Now to start us off, I'd like you and you at home to look at this picture. It's an image of the late Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Now if this image is an answer, what do you think the question could be? Oh, Teacher Pendo, I know. Yes, Marara. The question is... Who was the first president of Kenya? Well done. And that's obviously the most obvious question. But there are other questions that would have this image as the answer. Any suggestions? Yes, Nganga? Who was the first prime minister of Kenya? Well done. Someone else? Yes, Telvid? Who is this man? Very good. Now, your questions are relevant to this image. Now, can somebody please tell me why the late Mze Jomo Kenyatta is remembered in our country today? Yes, Ria? He played a major role in securing Kenya's independence from the British colonialists. That's very right, Ria. Now, the late Mze Jomo Kenyatta is the founding father of our nation. He and other nationalists were involved in Kenya's fight for independence. Now, one of the ways we honor our national heroes is by setting aside days in the year to celebrate their remembrance. Now, who would like to share with us some of the activities the people are involved with during such celebrations? Yes, Joyce? People gather at the stadium to celebrate. Mm -hmm, very good. Oh, Someone Chipendo. else? Yes, Marara. There are performances by traditional dancers and entertainment groups. Well done. Someone else? Yes, Telvid? The president delivers a speech. Very good. Can we have another one? Yes, Ria? Some people prepared special <laughs> meals to celebrate with their families. Very good. Now, what I like about these celebrations is that they bring everyone together as one nation. And that's very true, Teacher Pendo. And everyone looks so happy and peaceful. That's very true. Now, I remember watching the last Jamuhuri Day celebrations on TV and I loved listening to the patriotic music. I can construct a sentence to describe this. The music was being played. The music was being played. Now such sentences are said to be in the past continuous passive tense. Now in this tense, we are describing something that happened in the past. Now who can tell me which word it is that describes something that happened in the past? 
Yes, Joyce? From the word was. Very good. Now, we are describing something that was ongoing in the past. So we haven't seen the end of the action. Now, who can tell me the word in the sentence that tells us the action was continuous? Oh, Teacher Fendo. Yes, Marara. <clears throat> the word is being. Aha, very good. Now, if the music had stopped, we could have said the music was played. Now, finally, in this sentence, we say it is a passive tense because we are focusing more on the action being done rather than the person or the thing doing it. Now, why don't we try and come up with some more examples of past continuous passive tenses? Yes, Ria? The flag was being hosted. Very good. Someone oh, else? Chapendo. Yes, Marara. Guests were being welcomed. Very good. Someone else? Yes, Joyce? Everyone was being entertained. Well done. Someone else? Yes, Nganga? We get to see policemen and soldiers marching to patriotic music. Very good. Someone else? Yes, Telvid? The drinks were being served. Aha, fantastic. Now you've all done really well. How did you get on at home? Oh, uh, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara? I like learning about new tenses. I don't find it too intense. <laughs> Very funny, Marara. Well done, all of you. Now, I think we've made an excellent progress today. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for, but we look forward to welcoming you next time for more on Cool Words. After all that hard work, it's time to catch up with Mas Pidi in another exciting episode of Out There. Somewhere in the middle of one of the greatest dumping sites here in Kenya lies a place of hope for lots of children who are less fortunate in the society. Boma Rescue Center is one place that has given life to orphans, children from poor backgrounds and even kids who have nowhere to call a home. Are you curious? Me too! Come with me, let's visit this wonderful place! The center is located just next to Korogocho slums in Nairobi. And due to the poverty levels here, most kids seek refuge in this center. My friend Mrs. Atula tells me, although today most of the kids are in school and other homes, this place hosts over a hundred children. Although they don't have boarding facilities, the center is a very important place for kids. It is from here that they know by good luck they will get someone to sponsor them for the most basic needs like education, food, shelter or even clothes. Some of the kids here are talented and have learned to express themselves in different ways. Look, they are so flexible. Since the center started in the year 1996, it has successfully managed to send over 200 children to different places. Some have been sent to rehabilitation centers, others in boarding schools or even to well wishes home for basic care. Let me try it out. It's my time, I'm coming! Ouch! Children, please don't try this at home because it really hurts. Most of the kids here have no idea what tomorrow holds for them, but they are all lovely people and can't resist the joy brought by the caring team here. It's every child's right to have a home, education and clothes. But for most of them here, their homes are like a mirror that reflects a dark side of life. And this center is their only sign of hope for a brighter future. I would have loved to spend more time with these lovely children. But sadly, it's now time for me to say, Bye! Thank you. Bye! Bye. Bye. Speedy looked like he had so much fun. Right now, I could really, really do with some oh, oh, sleep. Marara, you can't sleep now. You're our timekeeper. We are about to play a game that will test your mathematical ability. It's time for our mathematical game show. It's time. Four. Well, it's time. Four. 
the big three teams. This is a game that we invented so that we could help Marara with his maths. Oh, yeah, yes, please help me. All right. Now, as you can see, our studio guests have been divided into two teams. Now, each team has to solve three mental arithmetic questions. Now, whichever team gets the most questions correct gets to take these wonderful books back to their school, courtesy of our friends from the Longhorn Publishing. And if we have a tie at the end, we're going to have a tiebreaker question. Now, here is the stick. You will only hear the questions once, and you won't see them written down until the end of the game. You must solve the questions within the five seconds you are given. And if you write your answer after the five seconds, your answer will not count even if it is correct. It's a real taste of your brain power and you can join us at home. Are you going to keep the time for us, Marara? Yes, I am going to keep your time. Marara is ready. I hope you're ready at home. Here comes the first question. 10 times 2 minus 4 plus 8 divided by 4 is what? Start the clock! Stop writing, stop writing, stop writing. Okay, ha. I hope you've written the first answer correctly because it's time for the second sum. Here it goes. 13 minus 3 times 4 plus 8 divided by 6. Five seconds start now. Time's up. Woo. It's getting hot in here. I hope you're doing well at home. Here comes the last question. 11 plus 4 times 3 plus 5 divided by 2 is what? The clock is running! Stop! You're out of time! Stop! 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 You're out of time! Okay, let's see. For the first time, can you show us your answer? Ooh, it's a blank page. Team B? A blank page as well. Wow, Charlie, huh. can you please work out the sum for us? All right, sum yeah. number one. 10 times 2 minus 4 plus 8 divided by 4 is... Uh, wow. Six. <laughs> so the answer was 6 for the first sum. Let's see the answer for the second sum. 7. Wow, team A wrote 7. Team B, what's your answer? Ooh, it's a blank page. So let's see if Team A got that answer correctly, Charlie. 13 minus 3 times 4 plus 8 divided by 6 is 8. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> we hope our friends back at home got that answer correctly. Let's wait and see if the third sum, they got it. So Team A, what's your answer? Blank page. Wow. Team B, blank page as well. Huh. Okay, Charlie, please give us the answer for the third sum. 11 plus 4 times 3 plus 5 divided by 2 is 25. What does that mean? Oh, you're yes. right. It's a tiebreaker. It's time for the tiebreaker question. Charlie, can you please give us the rules for the tiebreaker? Now, the tiebreaker question works as follows. Each team will have just five seconds to solve one sum. The first team to put up their hand and give us a correct answer will then get to take these books back to their school. If you put up your hand, and you do not answer correctly, the opportunity will fall to the next team who will then have a chance to solve the sum and possibly win the books. Are the rules clear? The tiebreaker question is 5 times 9 minus 3 plus 7 divide by 7 plus 16. Start the clock! Okay, who's first? Who's team first? A was first. What's the answer? 23. Let's find out if they're right. 
5 times 9 minus 3 plus 7 divided by 7 plus 16 is 23. Whoa! <laughs> well, Team A, you have won this round of the Big Three and you've won your school these fabulous textbooks courtesy of our friends, the Longhorn Publishers. Whoa, well, that was a good game. Well, sorry you didn't win, Team B, but you helped me with my maths. Don't forget that if you want to contact us, you can ask your parents to help you send a text with the word ZONE plus your name and address to 5606 and you will become an instant No Zone Club member. Don't you touch your remote control because we have another exciting lineup for you right here. today's buzzwords are decorate reception balloons feast well done now all of these words are about celebrations oh yeah and i love celebrations of course you do marara now it's time to learn something new about our wildlife here is wild zone Welcome to the Wild Zone. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the impact that business has on the region and our giraffe. One company has moved on to take more sheep water from another wetland somewhere else. Osarian, with its better record, still shifts millions of flowers, effectively exporting thousands of tons of virtual water a year taken from Lake Navasha. The good news is that Assyrian helps giraffes and gives their wealthy tourist clients a good time too. It's over here. Oh, come back. There'll be another one along in a minute, just like it says on the sign. But did they spot the eagle? and that auger buzzard again. And what's this? Why the excitement? Why are the zebras running? Even the giraffes? That's why. As the next Assyrian clients fly in, it's a buzzard's eye view of the woodland, the lakeshore, and an awful lot of pink things. And a few brown blobs in the water. The clients, the flamingos, and the hippos, and the greenhouses, they all depend on it. From the shore or from the air, Clients get a good view of the lake and a single giraffe. A first surprise is the hippo that's made it from the inland waterhole by the lodge. It seems they both got a surprise. Hippos can be dangerous. There's quite a crowd watching the small game on the other side. The giraffe are on private Assyrian land. These locals are from the village of Kongoni, on public land. Over there, the zebras and giraffes are not disturbed. The flamingos simply don't care. Here at Lake Eloidian is a flamingo paradise, but there are very few other species of water birds. There used to be, but as the level drops, this soda lake becomes more and more concentrated, which is great for flamingos and their food of algae, but not much else. Their numbers vary enormously as they move around various Rift Valley lakes, now only puddles in a changing climate in a long history of change. 
Next week on The Wild Zone, we'll be looking at how the supply of water is affecting both humans and wildlife. Be sure to tune in. Wow, that was great! Oh yes, you know I love the wild. It makes me nostalgic. Nostalgic? Marara, do you even know what that means? Uh, no. I just <laughs> used to hear my mom say it a lot after we moved out of the wild. It just means that you miss or long for something. Thanks, Wanja. I'm always learning every minute on the no zone. That's right. Now, if you would like to know more or learn more about Marara's animal friends or us, you should join the No Zone Club. Just send a text with the word zone and your name and address to 5606. Yes, and you'll become an instant No Zone Club member. And don't forget to ask your parents to help you with a text. Wait, I know what that means. It's time for... Hot Numbers! Hello everyone! Hello Teacher Bendo! Welcome to Hot Numbers. Now today we are going to learn about decimals. Teacher Bendo, why does your number have a point in the middle and not a comma? Well that's a very good observation Marara. We normally call this point a decimal. We use it when a number isn't a whole number. Now let's start with this number 4.8. 8215 as our decimal number. Now, can anyone tell me how many decimal places it has? Yes, Vidalin? Four. Four, that's right. It has four decimal places. Now, notice that we always count from the right going to the left until we get to the decimal point. Now, in our first lesson, we reviewed the place value tables when working with large numbers going from tens to hundreds millions. Now, with this table, as we move to the left, our numbers got bigger. Now, if we set up a place value table for our decimal number, we move to the right and our numbers will get smaller. Now, here is our table. So we have four ones, Eight tenths, two hundredths, one thousandth, and five ten thousandths. Now, does anybody notice something different about the units? Oh, oh, oh me, 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 teacher. Marara, please put your hand up first. Don't interrupt. Oh, sorry, teacher Pendo, mm -hmm. but the units end in th. That's right. Now think of one as a whole cake. Oh, I love cakes. <laughs> Marara, the TH indicates that we are breaking that number, or in this case, the cake, into lots of different pieces. So tenths would be breaking into ten slices, and hundredths would be breaking into a hundred pieces. Now, a hundredth of a cake is going to be smaller than a tenth. Ah. Which is why the number gets smaller as we move to the right. Exactly. Now think of the line between ones and tenths as the decimal. Okay, now let's try practicing putting another decimal number into our place value chart. This is the number. Now where is six going to go in our place value number? Yes, ones. Eric? Ones. So six will go into the ones. How about two? Yes, Ria? Tenths. Tenths. Very good. Hundredths? Yes, Husayna? Nine. Nine. What about thousands? Yes, Vidalin? Four. Four. Very good. So that means five goes into ten thousandths. Uh -huh. That's right. It does, Marara, but please don't interrupt the lesson. Well, now that we've all understood about place values, let's learn how to round off a number to a number of decimal places. Now, first, let's remind ourselves about the rules of rounding off. Now, if we round off a number that is four or below, we go down. We round it off to zero, okay? And if we are rounding off a number that is five or above, we round it off to the number above. If we want to round a number to two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place. Now let's look at our original number. 
What is the number in the third decimal place? Yes, Eric. It's one. Very good. So looking at the number line, we can see that we round down. So our number rounded to two decimal places would be? Yes, Ria? 4.82. Very good. Now let's look at this other number. Okay, so where is six going to go in our place value chart? Yes, Eric. It's one. Very good. If we were going to round this number to one decimal place, what would we look at? Yes, Husayna? Nine. Very good. And that's because we round nine up. Okay, so our number to one decimal place would be? Yes, Vidalin? 6.3. Very good. Now the nine meant we had to round up, which gave us three tenths. Oh, teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. I like decimals. Do we get the cake now? <laughs> oh, Marara. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for today, but please join us next time for more hot numbers. Now it's time to check out another interesting job as we see the latest entry to KZ's database. It's time for Career Zone. Tell us a little about yourself. My name is Joseph Maina. I'm a flower vendor. I sell flowers at Spring Valley Shopping Center. How did you find yourself in this line of work? First of all, I was working as a loader. I was working with the trucks, loading trucks, overloading. Then afterwards, the job ended. And then I stayed for about a year without working. Afterwards, I came to meet a friend who is called Samuel. He's the one who, who introduced me to the flower business. Did you need any qualifications, training or experience for your job? For me, I didn't go for the, any training, but there are some people who go for the training. We have a lot of schools training people how to arrange flowers, but we here, we didn't go for the training. We just learned through our friends. I was asking him a lot of questions when I was introduced to the business. So I could ask, what do you call this? So I, I could mark the name of the flower. Flowers need a lot of care. Please tell us what you do in a typical day. We get flowers from distributors. After get them from the shambas, they bring them to the city market. They are, they are very, where we go to get them. I reach at my business premises. I'll come and check the flowers, I'll change the water, I have to cut them, remove the dead ones. You have to clean all the flowers so when the customer comes, he can see the flower, it's very nice. What is the best aspect of your job? The best part of my job is when I'm arranging the flowers. It's very enjoyable. You can arrange a flower to a customer, then he'll be proud with it. And then he, he can even give you a tip for that. What are the main challenges of your job? My business premises does not have any shades. So when the sun is too hot, the flowers dies. Rain is also not good for the flowers. It makes the flowers rot. And sometimes in June and July, we get short of flowers. That when the business is very low. In your opinion, what skills or characteristics does one need in this line of work? You have to know how to arrange the flowers, how to mix them and how to match the colors. You can arrange a flower to the customer, then he'll tell you, I don't want that. Do it again. I'll select some other flowers. Looking into the future, do you have an overall career goal? I'm planning to extend my business, but unfortunately, the, to get a space for the business, another shop, it's very difficult because the city council are very rough when you go and open the business in a howling. What advice would you give anyone interested in your line of work? Our business is a good business. If you want to do the business, you have to be a very cheerful person. You have to know how to en entertain your customers. Then after that, you see your business is growing. Thank you for joining us today.
I think I would make an excellent event planner. I'm sure you would, Marara. I know. Like the party last night, it was excellent. I mean, we did so much dancing. <laughs> no more about the party, okay? Because now it's time for us to get our brains in gear. It's time for the ultimate word challenge. It's time for Spell It. Animal, animal, chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, Meter. respect. Deep. deep, vegetable, work. 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 work, work. Welcome to Spell It. Husseina, Stelvid and Joyce, you are about to walk out of the shadows into the spotlight to compete for this week's spelling champion. And the winner will walk away with this fabulous dictionary courtesy of our friends, the Longhorn Publishers. Now each contestant has just 30 seconds to spell correctly as many words as possible. If you want to hear the word again, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Now each word is worth one point, so the more words you spell correctly, the higher your chances of winning. Are the rules clear? Husseina, you are our first contestant. Please take your place at the spelling zone. Husseina, your 30 seconds start now. Food. F O O D. Venue. V E N U E. Holiday. H O L I D A Y. Dinner. D I N N E R. Uniform. U N I F O R M. Happiness. H A P P I N E S S. Engagement. E N G A. G-E-M-E-N-T Invitation Time is up. Oh. Well done, Husayna. Well done. Wow. Okay, Stelvid, you are our next contestant. Please take your place at the spelling zone. Stelvid, your 30 seconds start now. Meal M-E-A-L Invite I-N-V-I-T-E Family F-A-M-I-L-Y Barbecue B A R B E R Q U E Gathering G A T H E R I N G Joyous J O Y U S Arrangement A R R A N G M E N T Asha Time's up. Oh. Well done, Stelvid. Well done. Joyce, you are our last contestant. Please take your place at the spelling zone. Joyce, your 30 seconds start now. Event. E-V-E-N-T. Outfit. O-U-T-F-I-T. Birthday. B-I-R-B-I-R-T-H-E-D-A-Y. Fireworks. F I R E W O R K C S. Prepare. P R E P A R E. Religious. R E L I G S E O. Time is up. Oh, okay. Well done, Joyce. Well done. Wow. That was a tough round of spell it. And I think I can reveal the scores in reverse order. In third place, we have Stelvin. Let's give him a big round of applause. Yay! Second place, and the gap between third, second, and first was one point in between everyone. In second place, we have Joyce, which means today's winner of No Zone Spell It with seven points. A perfect score, she spelled all her words correctly. Husseina! Yay! Congratulations, Husseina. You are today's No Zone Spelling Champion. Show everyone at home your dictionary. Another round of applause! Congratulations, Husseina. Stelvid and Joyce, you don't go home empty handed. We have fabulous gifts for you, and we'll give them to you at the end of the show. After that wonderful round of spellage, I think we all deserve a break. So why don't we sit back and relax and enjoy another exciting tale in Bus Stories.
What is it? Look, it's a pimple threatening to grow. Oh gosh, so big. Stop it, Bumba. Raha, it's nothing. It's just a small pimple. I'm sure it'll go away. In a day it has grown this big. How about a week? You will be able to tear a pig onto it. Bumba, stop teasing. I hate this. Why does my skin have to turn like this? I wish I had skin like yours, Zawadi. You're always so confident. Every one of us is unique. Wishing to be someone else doesn't make life better. You know, there's this story about a young girl who used to do everything so fast. When her friends sat down to eat with her, before they took the first bite, she would quickly finish her food. They used to laugh a lot at her. I wish I could slow down. The little girl used to cry. I wish I could do things at half the speed other people do. <laughs> One day she was invited to a wedding party. She put on her best dress and as she walked to the wedding, she remembered her last embarrassment. She walked mourning. If only she could change herself. Along the way, she found a gourd with brightly colored beads on it. She dusted the gourd and suddenly a genie came out. My name is Malaika, the Make-A-Wish genie. You have three wishes. Anything you ask shall come true. I wish Malaika could change me to have smoother skin. Well, just like you, the little girl made her first wish. I wish I could do things slower, at half the speed that people do. There was a puff of smoke and a few glittering stars. When the smoke cleared, the girl could not believe it. As soon as she took the first step, it was slow. She was walking in slow motion. She was so excited. No one will laugh at me and say I'm too fast, she told herself, walking to the wedding party. Suddenly the weather changed, the clouds got dark, there was thunder and lightning, and the rain started pouring. Everyone ran past the girl, and no matter how she tried to run, she could not move as fast as she wanted. The rain poured on her. When she got to the wedding party, everyone laughed at her rain dress and hair. This big slow thing is not good anymore. People are still laughing at me. I wish my skin could be so hot that when rain pours on me, it evaporates. That's a strange request, but that would make her super powerful. No one would joke with her. It's going to go wrong. I can just tell. Carry on, Specs. So she went to the guard again, and Malaika, the make-a-wish genie, granted her wish. Very happy with herself, the girl went to pick a plate to go join the queue for food. As soon as she touched it, the plate burst into flames. Her skin was so hot, it was like fire. She quickly ran to pick a bucket of water to put out the fire. As soon as she touched the bucket, the plastic melted and the water poured on her. The water quickly evaporated. She tried to push the table out of the way. It too burst into flames. Oh no, she thought things were getting better, but in reality, they were getting worse. Yes, they were. The fire quickly spread in the room. Everyone in the party ran out. I'm in real trouble, thought the girl. She tried to run to the door, but as soon as she touched the doorknob, it burst into flames. She could not get out. Oh no, I wish I could move at supersonic speed and put out this fire before everything burns down. I don't want to be having skin this hot. She saw the god in a corner and went to pick it. She went to the god and the moment she touched it, it burst into flames. She sat down crying. I cannot change back to what I was. I have burnt the magic god. All around her, the fire spread. Suddenly, Malaika appeared to her. You don't need to worry. I am not like the genie in the magic lamp, where you have to rub me every time you want to make a wish. I told you, you have three wishes. The moment you say them, they happen and you have just made your third wish. Bye! With that, Malaika the genie disappeared. 
The girl bent out of the room and was surprised to see that she was as super fast as she was at the beginning. Very quickly, she fixed a pipe to the water tank and whizzed around the wedding place, putting out the fire. The people watched in amazement, and when the fire was done, they came to her singing her praises. She was happy. For the first time, people were not laughing at her speed. They were happy for it. That was such a good story, Specs. Well, all it means is that we should be happy of who we are and whatever we have. Sometimes, the things we hate most about ourselves are the things people like us for. Why should someone like a pimple? Shut up, Boomba. As we grow, our bodies change, and so does our skin, depending on the weather. But that is not a reason to make you want to be like somebody else. Hmm. I know you might not say it, but you want to have skin like mine. Wait, is that a pimple on my nose? Another one. What is happening? <laughs> no. What is happening to me? <laughs> oh, wow. That was a great story. I know. Oh, yes. And I already think I'm good at communicating well with others. Ah, uh, Marana, you are brilliant at communicating with others. You could just use a little improvement. <laughs> well, sadly, that's all we had time for today. We are so grateful that we had our friends helping us with the show. Did you all enjoy yourselves? Yes! Yeah! Excellent. Thank you for joining us today. And for you at home, thank you for tuning in. Well, come on everyone. Let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye.